hello guys welcome back to my channel in this video i will show you how to fix stronghold crusader definitive edition crashing at startup on not launching or stuck on loading screen or lagging on pc so let's go ahead so the first method is to restart your pc for that simply click on windows icon select power and then click on restart option this will restart your pc after this check if you can play the game if not the second method is suggested is to run game as administrator for that simply go to steam under library section select your game right click on it select properties go to the install files and then click on browse option this will take you to the path where your game has been installed simply select the game application right click on it select properties then click on compatibility and now click on run this game as an administrator and then click on apply and ok after this launch the game and check if the issue is resolved if not next method is to disable in-game overlays for that open steam Go to the library section, select your game, right click on it, select properties and here you can see enable the steam overlay while in game option. It will be enabled, simply disable it and then check if you can play the game without any further problem. The next method suggested is to verify integrity of game files. For that again go to steam under library section select the game right click on it select properties go to the install files and here click on verify integrity of game files after this launch the game and try to play it and see if it works now the next method is to allow the game through firewall for that go to the search option and search for windows defender firewall after this click on allow an app or feature through defender windows defender firewall option add it and it will be added to the list through firewall here you should make sure that both private and public boxes are ticked once done check if the issue is resolved the next method is to update graphics card for that you need to go to the search option and search for device manager go below and expand display adapters here you can see your graphics card right click on it and click on update driver after that click on search automatically for drivers this will search for the latest drivers available and install it on your PC. Otherwise, I have provided the link in the description. From there, you can simply download the latest drivers according to your PC requirements. The next solution is to modify launch options. For that, go to Steam, select the game under library, right click on it select properties under general you can see launch option here you should type minus dx11 and then try to play the game and see if it works if not simply type minus dx12 and then try to play the game and see if this works for you the next method is to run game on dedicated graphics card. For that, go to the search bar, here type graphics settings. This type of interface will open. Here you need to add the game. As you can see, the game has been added. Simply click on the arrow icon and here simply select high performance and then try to play the game and see if this method works for you. 
The next is to close all unnecessary background tasks. For that, simply click here, click on task manager. This interface will open under processes. You have to look which app is consuming high resources. Select it, right click on it and tap on end task option. This will close the game completely or close the app completely that is consuming high resources. And now launch the game and check if you can play it. Next is to update windows. So you should always check whether your up windows is updated or not. For that go to the search bar, type check for updates option. Here you can see check for updates option is available. Simply click on it and if any update is available, it will show you. Simply update your windows to the latest version and then try to play the game and see if this method works. Finally, when all the methods doesn't work, it's time to reinstall the game. For that, go to the Steam under library section, select the game, right click on it, go to the manage option and then click on uninstall option. This type of interface will open, simply click on uninstall and your game will be removed. Now restart your PC, once your device restarts, relaunch the game and then try to play the game and see if it pop ups the same error or you can play the game without any further problem. So that's for now, thank you.